Pip McManus is an artist and collector, and she's on the hunt to feed her hungry collection. She scours opportunity in second-hand shops, searching for treasure. I do a tour in op shops, antique shops. Just sniff out if there's any interest to me, um, but usually in the front glass cabinet, sometimes mixed up with other sorts of cutlery. But I can sniff them out usually. Sometimes they'll tell me that, oh, there's an old box out the front. I say, oh, yeah. Any chance of you going finding that one? Hey, Carmel. Nice pick. Spoons. Got any spoons? spoons yeah. Mm -hmm. Said you didn't have any last week. I know. And we've unpacked some stuff, so we've found a <gasps> few. Where'd you get these ones? Some of those are Adelaide trip, and then this lot was local. Look at this. Is that this the game? This again. I have never ever seen that before. That, that is a total gem. I think we're going to have to have some uh, conversation here about prices. One, two, three, four, and. Five, 10, 15, 20, one more, and we make it 20. No worries. Broom Pearl Driver. Done. Okay. So, are you expecting any more? You never can tell. A lot of people collect spoons and hunt them out. I know people who've got a bundle here and there. I don't know of anybody right. who's got a collection of probably 600 plus. Without exception, all Pip spoons are of the enamelled variety, an art that has long since given way to resin and plastic lookalikes, one of Pip's pet hates. <laughs> I'm quite ruthless. People send me a, a bundle and if these turn up, I tend to chuck them back at them or put them in my rubbish box if they're from down south because really otherwise you just get flooded with all this, this crap. Down here, very bottom layer, we have my most treasured category, which is the Northern Territory and Indigenous. The GAN coming through the Gap and Alice Springs. So many of the qualities I want in a good spoon. Northern Territory, transport, beautiful enamel work, and in mint condition. Ah, oh, just after the old Cairo guest house. <laughs>